everybody. Today we're doing multiplication and division word problems. Word problems. Panic! No, don't panic. It's no big deal. We're just going to be hanging out at the burger shop with our buddy Ian, and he's going to help us work through this. So let's see what Ian did. On the way home from school, he bought eight sliders, and they cost $2 each, and we want to know how much he spent. So let's take this piece by piece. On the way home, Ian bought eight sliders. So let's give him eight sliders. And they cost $2 each, so let's make them each cost $2. And we just want to know how much he spent. So you could count one, two, three, four, or you could skip count two, four, six, eight. But we're not always going to have these nice, easy numbers to work with. We need to understand what operation goes with this type of problem. So what we have here is equal groups. We have eight equal groups of two. When we have equal size groups and we're looking for a total, we use multiplication. Now you see we're just solving eight times two, which is 16. And spend $16 on eight sliders. Okay, let's try another one. On the way home this time, Ian bought four burgers, and the burgers cost $12. Each burger costs the same amount, and we want to know the cost of one burger. So same thing. We're just going to take this one piece at a time. On the way home from school, Ian bought four burgers. Let's give him four burgers. And they cost $12. Boom, $12. And they cost the same amount. We want to know what is the cost of one burger. Hmm. Well, what we have here is a total. We have a total of $12, and we're splitting that into four equal size groups. Each burger is its own little group. So when we have a total, and we're splitting it into equal size groups, and we want to know how many are in each group, or in this case, how much each group costs, we use division. Now we're just solving 12 divided by 4, which we know is 3, so each of the burgers costs $3. Easy peasy. Let's try another. Okay, so we have one bag of dog food. It has a mass of six kilograms. And we want to know the total mass of seven bags. So let's bring in one bag, and let's put its mass, six kilograms. And now we need the total for seven bags. So let's get the other bags in here. Let's get their mass label. So here we have seven equal size groups of six. And we're looking for a total, so we use multiplication. Seven times six is? Anyone? Anyone? Hello? 42. So our seven bags of six kilograms each have a total of 42 kilograms. Who wants to try one more? Me! Okay. We have 28 deaths. They're in four rows, the same numbers in each row, and we want to know what that number is. So let's start with our 28 deaths. We want to split them into four rows. Now, when we take a total and we break it into equal size groups and we want to know how many are in each group, we use... If you said division, you are correct. Now, we're just doing 28 divided by 4. Now, could you count? In this case, you could count, but not all cases will you be able to count. That's why you need to know what operation to choose. So, 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 deaths in each row. So, in summary... If you're given the number of equal size groups or the number that are in each group and you're looking for a total, use multiplication. If you're given a total and you want to find the number of equal size groups or how many are in each group, then we want to use division. Now you can solve word problems without panicking.